Hello, fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of April 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It will be the first days of the month that are filled with a whole lot of energy. A couple of areas really lit up for you, and it culminates at the full moon happening right around the 8th. Now, this full moon is happening at the very foundation of your chart, the bottom of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with the home, it has to do with family of origin, it has to do with spending more time on your own at home. Now that feels like a pretty universal experience for a whole lot of us right about now at this point in our collective experience. But for you, it seems like there are some strong emotions around this process more than others, whether it is a sense of uh, divided desires, a sense of powerlessness at this time, you are being asked to be still in ways that can feel uncomfortable for you. And I'm so sorry to say that. We've got energy here that is quick moving and surprising as well, with energy lit up in a part of the sky for you that has to do with what is happening for you with your relationship with financial institutions, what is happening for you in terms of your understanding of where you have power, where you don't, where fundamental change needs to occur. That is Mars speaking with Uranus in the days leading up to this full moon. We have Pluto meeting Jupiter in your opposite sign speaking to this full moon as well. That speaks to that feeling of powerlessness that may be happening at this time. So whether it is that you are being asked to be in your own space, to isolate, whether it is related to uh, your family of origin or your parents in particular, I'm so sorry to say, but it may be at this time that there are some heightened feelings around these particular areas. Now, there are some wonderful things happening right around this full moon, which tells me that if you are willing to have conversations with others, really it is that symbol, whether it is conversations, whether it is documents, whether it is making plans, thanks to Mercury making supportive alignments to Jupiter and Pluto, you can find ways to empower yourself, to change your circumstances, to find common grounds, and ultimately to understand the best way for you to move forward at this time. Now, as we navigate later into the month, it will be right around the 23rd that we will have this month's new moon. This new moon is interesting for a few reasons. It is happening hand in hand with Uranus and speaking in a conversation of tension with Saturn. So this is important to watch because this is actually going to be a very important alignment throughout 2021, this alignment between Saturn and Uranus that is now being activated by this new moon. So this will give you some glimpses into a larger energy that will be coming up for you ahead and more dominant once we move into 2021. But at least for now, this does bring attention to friendships, to group endeavors. It encourages you to think more lofty, to think more big picture, or rather to be more aspirational, more visionary in how it is that you are thinking about your life and how it is that you are approaching your life as well. Things can change very quickly with this new moon. There's a very surprise quality, a momentum quality at this time. And so whether it is that certain group alliances seem to come to an end, certain projects seem to come to an end, whether it is that your friendships are changing at this time as well. These are some ways in which this energy may be realized. But I would add with this, this is not the time to mix friends and money. That energy is pretty clearly indicated with this, if it is that you have a choice and if it is that you can help it. But for all that and where it is that your interaction with a friend or with other people in groups of people, as they go through changes, it is as if it is an opportunity for you to reflect more deeply on yourself and to facilitate some fundamental transformation within you, some appreciation of a deeper strength and a deeper stability within you as a result of your interaction with these key people. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we've got something very important happening this month, and that is Venus entering shadow. And it will be next month that Venus will officially go retrograde. So be on the lookout for a Venus 
retrograde special horoscope coming in the first half of this month on my YouTube channel. Be on the lookout for that because this is going to be a very important transit where it comes to love for a whole lot of us. But outside of that, for this month in particular, I did want to mention that connection between Jupiter and Pluto is going to be very important for you. It looks like a moment of truth as to whom it is that you are aligned with, the history you share, especially around that full moon, and where it is now that you feel you are or are not moving forward. If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, it may very well be in the first part of the month that you are looking to the past, looking to what was, what didn't work, and in some way you are reaching a deeper resolution with it. For some, there might be some interaction with someone that you were previously connected with, but regardless, this is more about making peace with what was so that you can step more fully into your present and look forward. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, this can be powerful insights into where this person has been, what this person has done before, um, what they have traveled before, learning about their past. And it is going to be very decisive for you. It'll be make or break. Either you're gonna learn something about this person and their past that helps you to feel more deeply connected and supported, or either you're gonna learn something about their past that ends up being a deal breaker for you, helps you to move forward in different directions. And for those of you in an established bond, I do feel like this can be a time where your partner in some way is helping you to understand some deeper dynamics happening with your family of origin differently. Now, for some, it may be that you find yourself repeating patterns of the past with your partner and in the awareness realize that you're ready to make a change or to evolve the relationship in some way that you don't want to repeat patterns of before. But for others of you, this may be a time where things of the past between the two of you that you hadn't looked at properly, you hadn't healed or truly forgiven, well, they may come to the surface now as well. Regardless of how this energy does come forward, this is ultimately an opportunity for your partner to help you to navigate where it is that you have been together or on your own and how it is now that you can gain wisdom and understanding from the past so that it roots you more in the present now. On another level, I will also say this could be a time when your partner plays a key role, uh, being helpful in some way in terms of what is happening with your family of origin right around the time of this full moon. It may very well be your partner's efforts, them securing the documents, them helping you to understand who to talk to that can help you to not only make sense of this time, but to transform circumstances to your advantage and for the better. What I love about this month for you, well, look, it is a powerful month for a lot of us out there, and that certainly includes you as well. There's a real opportunity here for you to change from the inside out, for you to feel transformed towards a more authentic version of you. It does involve examining your past more deeply in ways that may not always feel easy, but whose time has come. And it is ultimately in that reconciliation with what was that allows you to be more planted, not only in the here and now, but also to take on a more visionary perspective, knowing that there is an incredible and wonderful future up ahead for you. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes like the Saturn special horoscopes and the Venus retrograde special horoscopes coming up soon. All of this and so much more in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.